Come chase with us. Come chase with us. Come chase with us. Come chase with us. Look, now my vape, my vape, she a monster Blowing more clouds out her mouth than a roster Your vape, your vape, she's an imposter Three days to kill Kevin Costner Monsters, blowing circles of life Kick back, watch the clouds take flight When they rise, it's sort of like the sky falls Shit's getting thick like Nicky Hi guys, Paris Vapes UK back again Tuesday the 8th <clears throat> And I have said to a few people on vape book Today I'm going to do a review on the Jenny Tank Mega. So I'm really looking forward to this. <clears throat> we'll have a quick toot and then we'll uh, dive down close and have a little look at that. Hope you all liked my uh, vlog yesterday. I know it was a bit, uh, it did get a bit crazy at some time, but it does really annoy me. And I don't think it will ever stop annoying me unless they finally come out and say enough is enough and that vaping's okay. But, you know, it's going to be a good probably 10 years before that ever happens if they don't find anything except from nicotine. So, fingers crossed. Keep on vaping. And let's uh, dive down close and look at the jenny tank. So guys, here we are down close. And I'll unbox it for you. I've not, I've not had it out of the box yet. I've not used it. <coughs> so we'll crack in. We'll see you've got your, your box there. Directions. What you get in your, in your box. You've got your little scraps there. All your scanner you can check with Kanga Tech. So we'll crack on and open the box. There we go. There's your little checker there, telling you obviously how to do it and that. And your little scratch off. And then your little manual, which is quite good. Anything it doesn't tell you in this manual, I've had a little flick through it. <coughs> doesn't tell you what the tank holds the juice but I did look on Kanga Tech and it's a 3.8 mil tank but it doesn't say what size the air holes are on the airflow so we'll crack down and open you've got your beauty ring there for things like your ego batteries obviously I don't need them on my Vamo you've got uh, if I can get it out I uh, don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Uh, 1.8. Is it going to focus? I don't think it is. And that light. It's a 1.8. I think you can just about see that. It's a 1.8 ohm coil. <coughs> so we'll go and have a look. And there is also a 1.8 coil already in your tank. So we'll put the box to the side. We don't need that now. <coughs> There's your 1.8 ohm coil already put in there. Obviously, removable drip tip. You can buy the upgrade and have the stainless steel instead of the glass. Like the uh, Kangatech Mega Mega comes with comes with the stainless and the glass you can choose but you can buy it for the jenny tank you can buy the upgrade have a little look at these air holes i'm not sure if you're going to see them that's closed off at the moment might be better to do this when it's in actually yeah let's put that back on there it's a bit easier to do and it's screwed on so you've got I'm not sure if you can see that there's the one air hole I can't find I did look on their website because it doesn't say again in the manual what size them holes are but you've got one air hole two air holes three air holes four air holes and then your full open which is five like I say but I don't know what size they are 
Um, going to keep that closed just for filling it up <clears throat> like I found with my Spire Nautilus. Keep the air holes closed for when you're wicking it up. Let it wick for when you turn it back upright. But today I'm going to refill this as well quickly. Hopefully it won't take too long. Obviously I'm going to be using this and I'll probably do an update in about a week how it's been running. So obviously make sure you keep it upside down. You've got you don't want to get it in that centre hole, which goes down to your mouthpiece, and you've got four other little holes just round the centre hole. Either one of them, just fill it up. Crack ahead, I'm going to use my Sarek Vapors Red Scorpion, which is five milligrams, which I absolutely love this stuff. <clears throat> I picked up Friday, so any excuse to pick a new juice out. Get that hole, get that in there. Just fits, I'm not sure if you can see it, just fits in. Fill it up. Like I said, this is 3.8 mils. Now I'm going to go just before I hit that white seal there. Just before that white seal, I stop there. I don't want to come over them holes because obviously it's quite close to the um, centre hole. So screw that back down, nice and hand tight. And then before turning it back upside down, just shut them air holes off and then let that cool. Like you can see, it's bubbling, let all them bubbles go. Like you say, it looked quite full actually when it was um, upside down, but obviously when it gets into that other bit, that cha bottom chamber, the actual tank is about half full. So we'll let that uh, put that one to one side, let it wick up a minute, go back up top, have a quick vape while we're waiting for that to wick up, and then I'll chuck it on and we'll go through the air holes. So guys, back up top, just uh, having a little wait just for that. Uh, The uh, Jenny Tank Mega to wick up. Have a quick toot on my Nautilus. I've still been using this on the odd occasion while using my um, Nemesis that I got for Christmas. So, really going to miss this tank. Obviously, I'm going to be using that for a week. You now, I may stick to that tank. Maybe better than Nautilus. We'll, we'll see, but. <coughs> Really been loving this tank, so we have a, we're waiting for this to wick up, which all the bubbles have gone now. We'll give it a couple more minutes, and then we'll uh, crack on and we'll have a little vape on it. All right, guys. Now. I've left that for about five minutes or so now, so take the old Spire Nautilus off, <coughs> my Vamo V5. Put that down there, it's safe out of the way. And we'll go and put on <coughs> the Jenny Tank Mega. And we'll see what that looks like on here. Just put this away, guys, so I don't, I don't want to be knocking it over. It's <coughs> quite a bit of a gap there, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on the camera. It's a little bit of a gap in between where it sits. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it any tighter than that. No, there's that's set. Uh, what we got this on? We'll start with 3.8 volts. Just to start with, <coughs> do, do two primer puffs, and then we'll go on to the first first air hole. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see this on camera, guys. 
Got one air hole open, 3.8 volts. Quite nice actually, one air hole, not bad. I've cracked it up to uh, four volts now, which is what I'm usually on. Um, 1.8 ohms. It's usually what I'm on between four volts and 4.3, anywhere in between there. Um, we'll crack up to two air holes, see what I like this on. Two air holes. Quite a lot of airflow actually on two holes. Good vapour. Crack it up to three holes. I don't think I'm going to be using this on five holes to be honest. This is quite a uh, airflow is quite good. Don't know if you can hear that. Not a lot of vapour on three. That's my son being a pain. <coughs> Go up to four. I might have to chuck, I might have to whack the air uh, voltage up. Yeah, I think that's going to be the airflow is going to be. I'm probably going to stick to two, probably. I've got a 4.3, 4.3 volts. This is on four air holes now. Not getting no burnt taste from it. Still very nice, very nice flavour. I'll whack it up. Five holes. I'm not sure if you'll see that, guys. All five air holes are now open. 3.3, 4.3 volts on a 1.8 ohm coal, and I've not had a burnt taste yet. Good vapor production there on five air holes. For me, when I'm using tanks, I don't really like a lot of airflow. I like to melt a lung hit, not lung hit. So I think five air holes is going to be way too big for me. As you can really hear that. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm getting into my... um bit of cloud chasing at the moment so I may like this doing it lung hitting it I found I couldn't lung hit actually with the Nautilus the airflow wasn't quite as smooth as this is I may whack it down to four I'll try four air holes Paper wasn't as good that time. Go down to three. See if I can find one that I'm going to stick to. Go down to 4.2. That felt pretty good. See three air holes. And I can I can lung hit it if I wanted to, but I can still. Get a good mouth to lung hit out of that, it's not too airy. Try two air holes. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with a three. Go with a three. <coughs> three air holes. For me, uh, having three air holes open, I'm on 4.2 volts. I can, if I want a mouth to lung hit, I can. But if I want a lung hit, can do that too so it's quite a good option there but usually you'd have to if you wanted to lung here you'd have to change the air holes but with this you don't need to on that free air hold take a little a quick melt to lung and then we'll take a lung hit
see quite a good vapor reduction there with a lung hit as well. I think I'm going to stick to the three air holes. Probably will play around with it a little bit more. Like I said, that's on 4.2. Didn't get one even chain vaping like I was. Didn't get one burnt taste. So, <coughs> flavor is amazing. I know this flavor is amazing anyway, so when I try a couple of other flavors in there, we'll see how they go on flavor wise. <coughs> like I say, Tuesday today, I will do probably a week, I'll do an update on it and we'll have a chat and see how it's going. Now it's been vaping for me. So we'll have one more too, and then we're done. Polish Rapes UK, out.